Okay. So gout, as most people think about it, are acute attacks that uh, you're feeling fine and suddenly you get an episode of a red hot swollen joint, could be an ankle, a foot, a toe, a knee, and it lasts for a couple days and, and then will resolve either because you've taken some pain medicine or it just goes away by itself. But the, re the overall context really is that gout is a chronic disease. And, and gout comes from the buildup of, of uric acid a normal chemical which we all have in our bodies, but if our levels are too high and the uric acid in the blood starts to settle out, kind of like uh, icing on, on a cake that you get in, around the joint, that the uric acid coats the joints and then over time as it builds up, it will break down and you'll get crystals of that uric acid break loose in a joint and you suddenly get this uh, red hot swollen uh, attack uh, of gout and that can come on uh, at any time. Uh, Anthony's experienced that, and he can certainly describe what that's like. Yeah. Uh, in 2005, I was 25 at the time. I was playing with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, we just had a game on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. I work out, lift, do everything that I can to keep my body in tip-top shape. And then Wednesday, I wake up, and I can't even bend my knee, and it's sensitive to the touch. And uh, so I go in the training room, and they said I have a stress fracture. So fast forward on to 2009 when I'm here with Chicago Bears, I go in the training facility, I have another gout flare up. And um, he says, uh, I think you have gout. So I'm not believing that because you know I work out every day, I lift weights, I practice, I run every day, I'm in tip top condition. I'm an athlete, I'm 29 years old. You can't get gout unless you're 45 or you know, you're an older gentleman. And so I just wasn't, I wasn't believing it. And so uh, we went to a rheumatologist and um, he checked my uric acid levels and sure enough, I had gout. And so ever since then, I just started educating myself because I didn't want to feel that pain again. If you can picture a hammer coming down on one of your joints, that's what gout feels like. And so I, I went to websites like goutteducation.org and I just educated myself because I don't want to feel that pain again. So the gout, the gout that happens, um, it can keep happening. You can keep mm -hmm. getting uh, attacks very frequently. Yeah. And th those attacks will keep happening until you lower the uric acid in, in your blood enough that those deposits of uric acid, the icing on those joints, will actually dissolve and, and the body gets rid of them. But until that happens, uh, you're still going to have attacks. So you're going to need to do something, which is usually medication, to keep that level of uric acid below 6. And once that happens, uh, the attacks will ultimately stop happening. And uh, a good place for education that you can get and information is gouteducation.org. Uh, on, the, on the internet, you can find that. It has a lot of uh, very useful uh, information for you.